morning boys and girls um, I'm delighted again it's my turn to share the beautiful word of God with you all I hope you've had a wonderful week and next week it'll even be more wonderful because you we all have a bank holiday on Monday so you only get to go to school for four days now last week Georgie Ann spoke on how God turned bad things to good in our lives and she specifically mentioned one guy and his name was Joseph. Now the Lord surely turned many, many things to good in Joseph's lives, life, shall I say. Now, she also asks you to send in to Sonia one thing that God turned to good for you this week. And this you all did. And a huge thank you for doing that because we are always very encouraged when we hear from you all because we miss you so much and we can't wait to get back to our normal Sunday school. But in the meantime, we're delighted to be able to just to speak to you on YouTube. Now this week, we're going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. And this is, can be found in Galatians 5, verse 22 to 25. Now the Word of God tells us that each tree is recognized by its own fruit. So we know now that uh, an orange tree grows oranges. It doesn't grow apples. Likewise, the apple tree doesn't grow bananas. Here's the banana. Now, in Sunday school, we often sang the banana song and everybody loved the banana song. So I'm sure you're all smiling now when you see the banana. Now you can cook with the fruit, you can make beautiful banana bread, you can make apple tarts. So there's so many things you can do with fruit. But the Lord has also given us gifts and are called fruit of the Spirit. Now firstly, we must understand what the fruits of the Spirit are and how we can get them. And then how do they grow and where do they grow? And the cool thing is that when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Master into our lives, the, the gifts are free. God plants these seeds in us and he watches them grow daily in our lives. We don't have to go out and dig up the ground or we don't have to go to another country. It's a free gift that the Lord gives each and every one of us. Now, I went looking and I got myself this beautiful tree. You see this tree, guys? Just bear with me now a little minute as I set my tree up. That's my tree. You okay? You like my tree? Now, the tree represents me and you, your mom, your dad, your auntie, your granny, your friends, all of those who have accepted the Lord Jesus into their lives. This is the tree. Okay, dokie. So it's a good tree. And we're going to plant in this tree the gifts that the Lord has given to us freely. Now what do you think the first fruit is to be planted on this tree? Yes you have it. It is joy. See it? There it is. Right at the top we're going to go. Okie dokie. There it is. And the next fruit is joy. See that? Where we put that? Did we just put it there? Now we have that. We're going along nicely. Then the next fruit, its name is peace. Okay, do you see the peace? See, that's the peace. So now we're going to plant the peace. This tree is coming along very nice. The next one is patience. Okay, this is the seed of patience. There's patience up there. And then what do we have? The seed of kindness and we will plant it there okay then we have goodness okay and we plant goodness up here okay dokey doesn't want to stay there it is then we have faithfulness it's a long word isn't it there it is faithfulness and we plant it here. This tree now is filling up nicely. Then we have gentleness. Okay, so these are all wonderful gifts, children. Wonderful fruits. And the last one is 
self-control. Okay. Now there's self-control. Now look at the tree. It's full of all this beautiful fruits. Again, we go through them. So it is love, joy, peace. Say them with me, children. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So these are all called fruits of the Spirit. So they are a gift that the Lord has given me and you. And it's a free gift, children. Now, we're going to listen to our watch, as I say, a short visual. And then we we'll come back and we can have a little chat on what we have seen. See you in a few minutes, children. Bye bye. Time for Paul's next big idea. The fruit of the spirit. The fruit of what? Oh, I love fruit. I'm especially partial to bananas. No, that's not the kind of fruit we're talking about. Apples? Wrong kind of fruit. Grapefruit? That's got fruit right in the name. Phil, help! Uh, let me see what I can do. Um, this is an orange. It is the fruit of an orange tree. It is what comes out of an orange tree. Like an apple is what comes out of an apple tree. I think we're following you. Though I'm still partial to bananas. I, I don't have a banana. We can wait while you go get one. I think we need to get on with the show. Paul starts out talking about the fruit that comes from our sinful nature before we follow Jesus. Paul says the fruit of our sinful nature is anger and pride and selfishness. All the things that make the world an ugly place sometimes, that make it so hard for us to get along with each other. So all the bad stuff we see, that is the fruit of our sinfulness. Okay, I get it. So what's this other fruit? Paul then talks about the fruit of the Spirit of God. When we follow Jesus and believe in the power of what he did on the cross, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And Paul says with the Spirit of God inside you, the fruit that comes out is very different. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. From Paul's letter to the Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. This is the best fruit that could possibly come out of you. Welcome back children. I hope you enjoyed that small video on the fruits of the spirit. Now the one thing that we all know is that without the Lord in our lives, without us receiving the Holy Spirit, it would be impossible for all the fruit that we put on that tree to grow and be effective in our lives. It's not easy loving everybody being joyful all the time, having patience, having kindness, having goodness, being faithful, having gentleness and self-control. But as we looked to the Lord Jesus, we can, children, walk in all of these fruits. We won't need to lose our temper. We won't need to fall out with our friends because the power of Jesus is in you and in me. Now let's think of some ways that we can show these gifts right now in our lives. Maybe you're at home now sitting down or maybe you've been up in your room. Maybe you could go down and show love to your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister. Maybe you could have a little more patience with your younger brothers or sisters today. So this week, 
maybe you could send in to Sonia some ways that the fruit of the Spirit is evident in your lives this week. So what I mean is that maybe in something that you have done, something you have changed, and you see that the fruit of the Spirit is working in your lives. Maybe you would show gentleness towards your friend or towards the teacher at school. Maybe you would show some kindness to maybe the somebody sitting beside you at school. Maybe you could help them. Maybe you could help your mom or your dad. So children, I hope you enjoyed this morning and listening to what God is saying to you today. Um, we miss you all very much and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Bless you all. Have a blessed week. And we will see you again next week. Bye bye. Darkness.